It's time once again for a Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament update. Uh, it's been a long time since I've filmed these, and that's for two reasons. The first reason, the big reason, is that um, the... So I've been, I've been using the, the editing software I purchased. Uh, really wanted me to buy new editing software. It asked me frequently if I would just buy some new editing software from the same company. I never thought I needed to do that because it was working fine. I just wanted to c c put scenes together, you know. Um, but then one day, when I was doing that Origins How We Became a Human game, I went to edit the footage together from from one of them, and then the editing software decided not to work anymore. It was like, I'm going to be obsolete, so you have to buy new editing software from us. And I, you know, I was familiar with it, so maybe I might want to do that, but I did not want to do that, so I did not do that, and I was also really busy, so I just didn't do it for a while. The game sat up there for a long time, some cats got in the room, messed with careers, messed with origins, how we became human, and so I just kind of uh, scrapped that. Um, so I'm missing some cubes from Origins, but that's okay. Uh, they'll maybe turn up or I could just use something else. It's not like, you know, they just have, so I, just, I think one's blue and I, I don't remember what the other color is. Um, but then Matt Smith of OuterCityLimits.com gave me some new editing software. So I had that and then I just figured I'll kind of go back to what the um, tournament used to be. Um, well, not totally, but and then I'm just going to play games that I just kind of feel like playing and do it that way. Now, but we're still going to move forward towards who is going to be uh, the representative of England. And here I stand in Virgin Queen um, through the loser's bracket. So how that's going to work is I did, I, using a calculator, um, I did some math on the uh, people's kind of final stats. Okay, and what I did is I took what they had and I subtracted 60 from it provided what that you know what they had that had to do with their personal goals um, subtracted 60 because that was their total goal and then I multiplied that number by what turn it was how many turns they had um, and then I also like wrote down on my little notebook here what sorts of skills they have because that that could possibly carry over um, so that gave them a, a negative score because no one Obviously, no one won the game by the time, you know, it got all messed up. And so, um, we have different, a whole array of scores. I think our lowest score is negative 59, and that's Dancing Bears. Dancing Bear didn't actually get to do anything in the game. She had one turn, and I think she went into art, maybe, and then I never played the art game. Um, so she has the lowest score, because she's, she's been unmarred by the world. She's, she's, um... You know, but she also doesn't have any of these special skills that that might be helpful later. Um, so basically, what's going to happen is I'll draw some random cards from from the deck. This is the people who still remain um, for whatever game I'm going to play, and then based on how the victory determines, they are going to either get some points added to their score um, or subtracted from their score or added to their score. Okay, so if they're doing, if they do well in the game, and you know, that's the, that kind of point scale is gonna depend on each game, be dependent upon the game. So I think I'm gonna do Falling Sky first. So if, you know, I'll probably multiply their score by 50, maybe, so if they have a negative score, it'll be negative 50. You know, if they have negative one, it'll be negative 50. If they have uh, negative two points, it'll be uh, negative 100. If they have positive three points, then they'll get points, okay? Now the nice thing about getting points is, um, well, I, I just I made a decision right now. I was going to have it so that if our our lowest score is negative six hundred seventy five, I was going to have it so if they go below seven hundred, then they're just eliminated. Goodbye. They'll go to the stack over there, where they'll never be back in this tournament ever again, and it's really sad, and we'll miss them. Um, so that's that's what ha happens if you lose enough points. So Weasel, who has negative six hundred seventy five. Probably if he loses a game, he's out, okay? And other people, if they lose a game bad enough, could be out. So like, um, say you get negative seven points, that's negative 350 points, and you are, who has 400 some? Oh, say you're giraffe, then you would still be out. Now, if you get positive two points, um, then you get 100 points, and that, that's gonna move you away from being eliminated. 
And I think I might do it so that, I, I haven't decided, so that if you get a positive score value, you know, so like if you're Dancing Bear and you do well, and then you're in the positive range, you no longer have a negative score, then maybe you're safe from elimination for a while. You'll go out of the mix of the churn. But it'll probably, I don't know. I don't know, we'll just have to, we'll, we'll just do it as we go along. I don't need to do a big plan-y thing. We can just do one step at a time and, and do this tournament. You know, I don't have a ton of time, so it, it's probably not going to be as rapid as it did in the, as I did things in the tournament's youth. But, you know, we get older, we get slower, but it doesn't mean we don't keep hobbling on. So, we'll see you uh, soon for Falling Sky. Maybe today, maybe another day, because I'll also have to figure out how to use this new editing equipment. Uh, uh, not equipment, it's just a, some software. But there's no nothing, no dials or anything I actually have to turn. I just use a, my personal computer at home. Thank you.